There's a exodus going on on X. Uh, Joy Reid put out a video announcing she's leaving X. She deleted her account. Uh, Don Lemon uh, mm. has, he put out a written statement. He put out a video statement. You know, he's done it all. Uh, Mark Cuban bounced for a second, then came back. Everybody's announcing they're leaving X, and they're, you know, they're all upset with Elon Musk. How dare you legalize free speech? How dare you? This is terrible. I get pushback. It's so awful here now. Let's play uh, Don Lemon's uh, video explanation uh, for why he left X. Hi, everyone. I have loved connecting with all of you on Twitter and then on X for all of these years, but it's time for me to leave the platform. I once believed that it was a place for honest debate and discussion, transparency and free speech, but I now feel it does not serve that purpose. In addition, starting this Friday, November 15th, X is implementing new terms of service, which among other things states that quote, all disputes be brought exclusively in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas or state courts located in Tarrant County, Texas, end quote. The full terms of service can be found on my written statement or on the X website. Now, as the Washington Post recently reported on X's decision to change the terms, this, quote, ensures that such lawsuits will be heard in courthouses that are a hub for conservatives which experts say could make it easier for X to shield itself from litigation and punish critics. I think that speaks for itself. You can find me on YouTube at The Don Lemon Show or on TikTok and Facebook at Don Lemon and on Instagram and Blue Sky at Don Lemon Official. I hope you will join me there. Thanks. Hmm. Uh, these guys hate free speech. They hate the ramifications of free speech. They loved uh, Twitter, Jack Dorsey's version of Twitter, when everything was weighted their direction, particularly the, the alphabet folks. Uh, Twitter used to be the gayest place on earth, and it's no longer, it's still gay, but a lot less gay. Don Lemon is irate about it. How dare they uh, make this fair and balanced, and I actually get pushed back uh, for my opinions, my dumb opinions. Uh, Joy Reid, who's an ally, I wanna read her statement I think she released a statement over X. Let's read Joy Reid's statement on X. Uh, <laughs> she's another. She's you know not part of the Alphabet team, but she reports in and works for. Um, she works for Rachel Maddow or Rachel Maddow. I'm sorry. It says we have a full. Oh, I'm sorry. The full screen is just her account blocked out. Uh, doesn't exist. She deleted her account. Anyway, Steve. Uh, your thoughts, I, I, I love the fact that people are bouncing from X, the people that can't handle free speech. I suspect they'll all return. Your thoughts? Well, that's that's one bitter lemon, and geez, now Twitter is joyless. Uh, <laughs> need I remind them that literally as of a couple years ago, President Trump was actually banned from Twitter. Think about that. I mean, that that's actually more remarkable now that you think about it, that the leader of the free world at one time on his way out was basically censored and blacklisted. And it and for them to think that, well, this has become a one sided echo chamber, uh, the irony is striking. And it's interesting about Don Lemon. If I recall correctly, guys, wasn't he going to actually work to having a show there and be an employee of X? Uh, I, I think that run was actually shorter than Bill Belichick's run as the New York Jets head coach. But, you know, I it is interesting that now they're going to a place with blue skies where now it could become, get this, um, a platform of free speech. In other words, everything is liberal and Marxist, and they call, they could all just, here's the issue though. I, I've actually found that when you try these new platforms, they're okay, but Twitter has become so iconic that it when you think of a social media platform where people get off their thoughts, like a community message board, people autom I think 80% of the people think of Twitter slash X. It's like when you think of auto racing in the US, I think most people automatically think NASCAR. 
I mean, there might be a few people that follow the IndyCar racing, but when you think of race car driving in the United States, we immediately say, oh, yeah, NASCAR. Okay, so, and then when you think of MMA, think about the MMA, there's different leagues, different organizations. But I would venture to guess, Jason, that when you say, hey, do you watch the MMA? The average person would say, well, I know about the UFC, not, not understanding there are actually different organizations. So that's a powerful brand to overcome. But so they have canceled themselves, which I, I think is very ironic, but I will say this overall. I hope the likes of Joy Reid, Ana Navarro, Jamel Hill, Don Lemon, I hope they don't become canceled. I think they're the greatest recruiting tool and magnet for the conservative movement. So I hope their messages, messages moving forward are amplified. Let's be honest. The insurance model is broken. CrowdHealth puts your health care back in your hands. Use the promo code FEARLESS at joincrowdhealth.com. That's joincrowdhealth.com, promo code FEARLESS. So take that group. I think they're tired and are being worn out by the content that they produce on X is repurposed by oh, those yeah. of us that disagree with <gasps> them. And so they're just like, hey, I'm going to take my content away from uh, the people on the conservative side that mock me and, and my content. But, Steve, I think they're going to be so far outside of the news cycle and they'll figure this out in two to three weeks that, like, hey, I can't keep up with the news cycle unless I'm on X. So either they'll have right. burner accounts not attached uh, to their name or they'll just have to wave the white flag and say, yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. Let me go back to X. Can I, can I try to add this, example. Steve, real quick? Sure. Steve, I just want to say this real quick. I want to play off your lemons thing. I'm about to take lemons and make some lemon gade. Lemon gade. <laughs> this is uh -oh. what happens. Hey, this is what happens when you lose so bad and you have nothing left. The only play left in this playbook is to become a victim. And I think this plays back into their ideology over overwhelmingly to this group of people is that they always are trying to find a way to be a victim. And so now this is a way to play the victim card. I can't do this anymore. I'm not wanted here. It's a big show. I, I Man, you could have gone with the sport because I like your point. But you, they just they're taking their ball and going home. They are. They're, they've quit. This is guys. Yeah. On, I was last picked on the basketball court. I'm upset and I'm not on a team that's going to win. Let me take my ball and go home. That, that's all this is. Steve. Guys, uh, I know that Instagram, I don't know how long ago, started their own version of Twitter. I didn't know what it was. They, and they had a notice about threads. seven, eight months ago. Th yeah, threads. And, and I participate a little bit. I'll put up some of my links, some of my stories, some of my videos from Three Knockdown Rule. And in terms of the engagement, Jason, they might as well call it dead. There's no engagement. <laughs> Seriously. And, and, and Instagram's kind of a big brand, but they tried to do their own version of it. Nobody cares. But this goes back to my original thought as I woke up on Wednesday, November the 6th. It was not just a political candidate in Miss Harris or a political party in the Democrats or even a philosophy that was defeated. It was the general mainstream legacy media because as I hear the whining and the crying of The View, uh, of Joy Reid, of Don Lemon, they, they see, they're trying to tell you now, oh, the, these propagandists, they're just believing lies. No, the real truth is we as an American public now have the option not to believe your lies. And I'm going to say something that you may or may disagree with. I actually believe a lot of these YouTube content creators who are now titans in this field, I find them to be incredibly well-researched and honest because a lot of what they do is using old sound bites and clips of what these pundits would literally say a year later. And then they go right back to 180 degree opinion. They use their own words against them. And, you know, I'll, I'll just point out a couple of people some more. Our old friend Dom Lucre, the videos that he uses, and I look at his engagement, I look at his traffic now, that guy's a problem. That guy is a real problem because he's incredibly intellectual, he's well-researched, and he's very measured in his approach. Nate the Lawyer, 
is a guy that I absolutely love. Very, very humorous guy, but he's also incredibly well-researched himself, and he has a clear message. And I want to point someone out on Twitter. His name is Seneca Scott. His work on that platform, X, I believe led the change for sweeping reform that is coming in Oakland with their leadership. And once the people like Anna Navarro and Sonny Hostin lost that control, uh, I think they lost more than an election. They actually lost a lot of their power. So take Joy Reid, for instance, Don Lemon to a lesser degree, but others that will back away from X and try to undermine X's credibility. It's so toxic. I can't be here. I, I get exactly what they're doing. And, and I, I can't say it's like butter with the victim deal. There was a time where I think people could, as it relates to Twitter, could say, oh, Woodlock, you know, thinks he's a victim. But I did not quit. I did not, and because there was a long period of time, like I hated Twitter. And I, I could, because I could see, like, hey, this is rigged, and they're taking my common sense and or uh, humorous tweets, and they're acting like I've committed some crime to create the impression around executives in the TV industry. Whitlock's crazy, and everybody hates him. And can't you see how racist he is? And literally, I mean, that that was like the argument. That I was. Oh, look at it. Look at the way people react to his Colin Kaepernick take as if most of America didn't really in the real world agree with me on the Colin Kaepernick deal. And so when, when Twitter is rigged in a way that it makes you toxic or makes you appear outside the norm, it will frustrate you. And it will, like with these weak people, make them quit because now that's what's going on. When Joy Reid is trending over Twitter, it's she's getting ratioed. She's getting destroyed. And it's a message to executives like she's out of step with mainstream America. And that's why these guys are quitting is because they don't want that perception to be confirmed because this is how stupid these executives are. They go to Twitter and whatever Twitter is liking, retweeting, yeah, this must be what everybody thinks. And so they're just trying to avoid getting ratioed and having executives figure out, figure out like, man, they're completely out of step with the direction the wind is blowing with Trump and Musk and just regular American people. They don't, and, and I'm telling you, I experienced this. And you know, I would crack a joke on Twitter, or I would, I can remember, I cracked a joke about myself on ESPN. I was on, filling in for Tony or Mike, on uh, pardon the interruption, and I cracked a joke about being about myself about being inept with women, and I had to isolate them uh, from their families and friends to convince women that you know to date me or whatever. It was a joke on myself. Twitter reacted in this rigged fashion, like I had just said, "Yes, I, I rape women." That was like the, and it was like a storm, and I was cracking the joke, being self-deprecating about myself. And, but, so, I, I get why they're frustrated, because they're about to get exposed. They've been getting exposed over the last two years, and they're probably better off tapping out, just like they have, because they're, they're too weak to survive the storm. Steve, you got a That's final thought, or we can move on to another topic? Yeah, my view, you know, I hear people talking about, and this goes all to the First Amendment. Look, people can say what they want. We don't have to agree. But when I hear people say that Joy Reid needs to be fired and the view to be canceled, I completely disagree. I, I, I actually believe as someone that wants a conservative movement to move forward, uh, I, I, I draw this analogy. It's like college football. When you have a rival and you're recruiting for the same players and you're trying to build momentum, if that other side has a really bad coach that's on thin ice or a dead guy walking – but that school somehow gives them a contract extension, it's the greatest thing for your program. You're going to be able to get the great players. You're the one that's going to have the momentum, and they're stuck with that bad coach. When I look at shows like The View, when I, when I look at some of these people, these pundits, I'm like, please keep spewing your rhetoric. Because I truly believe that once they lost touch with the common man in America – they actually were one of the reasons why Donald Trump was able to win some key votes because 
there came a point where the public said, no, nah, we cannot believe your lies and we truly think you are the enemy of the American people. So I want them around for as long as possible. Thank you for your service. Don't miss a second of Fearless. Hit that like button and subscribe to keep up with our latest content.